Mims here with DFW Images. I have James and Michael McLester on the line, and James has an important announcement about a Salinger redo coming up March 5th at Gas Monkey Live in Dallas, Texas. James, tell us what's going on, man. Yeah, I had to tell you the truth. Every time I seem to have something big, it kind of turns into something different or turns into something bigger. But let me just say this. I'm just a guy. started playing music when I was 11 years old. 1993 came about. I was 26 years old. And I was contacted by John Ray Mott, who's the guitar player of Solinger. Solinger had started years before up in North Texas. And at that time, they were making some personnel changes. And so John Mott came and recruited me. Said, hey, man, you're going to be my drummer. We talked. I went to play with the guys. At first, I was not too sure because I didn't know these guys very well. But settled in, and then soon after, Dave Heineman, who's played with Terry, the original singer for Pantera, who's played with Joey Jones, who's also going to be a part of this big show, came in from California. The lineup was complete, and this is a band fronted by Johnny Solinger, who spent 15 years with the band Skid Row touring the world, which who doesn't remember the song, I Remember You. But at this point in time, the time was right, everything aligned up right, so that March 5th, we're doing a show together, and I'm sure people are going to be excited to know a lot more about the show. But this is going to be the first time we're back on stage since 1999, which Johnny went on and joined Skid Row, and they did a show at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, opening for Kiss. I was there. It was a huge night for Johnny. And like I said, he's got a lot of miles around the world now, but hopefully he's the same simple man that I knew him to be and hopefully a lot of our friends from PFW that celebrated Dallas City Limits and the basement and the Vampire Lounge and Smoking Day's Rock Room and On the Rocks and all of those various venues will show up to the big event March 5th and it's free. I mean, wow. You know? Wow. Free? I mean, free with Solinger? Saturday night? You can't beat that. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> free. And if they want a VIP table, you can get a four top for like 100 bills. So, there's a lot of people that want to party like a rock star. If they want to do that, they have access to that. If you see me coming, do you think you'll run away? Should I even bother? Does it matter anyway? So and I want to thank everybody at Gats Monkey Live, including Lee Russell and Daniel, who worked so hard to put on these great shows, um, to the ticketing people, to the people that work security there. Uh, it's just really great that they're opening up this venue, Big Mike Rios. And also a shout out to Joey C. Jones. Joey was in a band, Sweet Savage, that at the time, Poison and Motley Crue were ruling the Sunset Strip, went in there and began to sell the place out. They have a great story of their own. If you ever want to do a YouTube search for Sweet Savage, there are two different versions. This is the band from California with the big blonde hair, but Joey's been a great guy. He's also in a band, Shock 2, and that's like S. H-O-C-K, and then two T-U that were really big at the same time in the era, and they're kicking off the show at 9 p.m., and I'm sure they'll play, you know, a good hour, hour and a half, and then Solinger kicks off at 11 p.m. for people who want the details, and I'm sure the doors will be open by 8 p.m. or something like that, so it's going to be great to reunite with Joey C. Jones and his band, but also Johnny Solinger, John Ray Mott, and then also Dave Heineman, who's a killer guitar player, and then John Mann, our bass player from Solinger, He's actually coming all the way down from Seattle where he's like a ski instructor. And I think he plays out on the side, but he's coming down a week in advance to do the show for us. So a lot of people are sacrificing. And most of all, the fans of the music back then, you know, where people are 40 years old now and have families and different lives. But it's going to be an awesome time to come back together that night, March 5th. 